Arjun Robin. Arjun Robin, born January 23, 1984, is a Dutch footballer who plays for the German Bundesliga club Bayern Munich. Though often classified as a forward, he usually plays behind the forwards as a winger, and he is also known for his dribbling skills, speed, crossing ability and his accurate left foot long range shot from the right wing. He is also a part of the Netherlands national team and has appeared at Euro 2004, the 2006 World Cup, Euro 2008, the 2010 World Cup and Euro 2012. Robin first came to prominence with Groningen, for whom he was player of the year for the 2000 January Eredivisie season. Two years later he signed for PSV, where he became the Netherlands Young Player of the Year and won an Eredivisie title. The following season Robin's signature was pursued by leading English clubs, and after protracted transfer negotiations he joined Chelsea in the 2004 close season. Robin's Chelsea debut was delayed through injury, but upon returning to fitness he helped Chelsea bring home two consecutive Premier League titles, and was the FA Premier League Player of the Month in November 2005. After a third season in England which was punctuated by injury, Robin moved to Spanish club Real Madrid for EU 35 million. In August 2009, Robin transferred to Bayern Munich for a fee of around EU 25 million, scoring two goals on his debut. In his first season in Munich, Bayern won the league title, Robin's fifth league title in eight years, and Robin scored the winning goal, also being man of the match, in the Champions League final. After his first season with the Bavarian club, the player was also named Footballer of the Year in Germany. Early Football Life Robin was born in Biedem, a satellite town of Groningen in northeastern Netherlands. He took to football from an early age, becoming an adherent of the Coerva method. Robin's skill in ball control and technical footwork made him a valuable player, and he was quickly signed by regional club FC Groningen. Here, he developed his distinctive style of cutting inside from the right onto his left foot to score some quite spectacular goals. Club career Groningen Groningen placed Robin in their first team for the 1999-2000 season. He scored three goals in league play. Manager Jan van Dijk added the winger to the first team before Groningen's November 2000 away game against Twente, but he did not play until December 3, 2000 against Woolwich, as a substitute for the injured Leonardo dos Santos in the 79th minute. Over the winter, Robin managed to play himself into the starting lineup. In 18 starts for Groningen over the 2000 January season, he scored two goals. Robin was named Player of the Year for his first season with the club, and with teammate Jordi Hoekstrade, he demonstrated the strength of the Groningen Youth Academy. Robin stayed with Groningen and improved steadily during the 2001 February season, playing in 28 matches and scoring six goals. Robin transferred to PSV for EU 3.9 million before the 2002 March season. PSV. During his first season for PSV, the 2002 March season, Robin played 33 matches and scored 12 goals. He was named PSV Co-Player of the Year along with striker Major Kesman, with whom he formed an attacking partnership still fondly referred to by PSV fans as Batman and Robin. He helped lead PSV to their 17th Dutch title, and won the Talented Player of the Year award. After this good start, PSV could not keep up with rival Ajax and were forced into a fight for second place in the Eredivisie. Robin travelled to London and met with Manchester United coach Sir Alex Ferguson. Ferguson's offer came in much too low for PSV's and Robin's liking. PSV chairman Harry Van Rauwelge told Manchester United the most that their EU 7 million offer would buy them was a shirt with Robin's autograph. Almost immediately, Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich offered EU 18 million, PS 12.1 million, and PSV accepted. The rest of his season with PSV was disappointing. He injured his hamstring twice and missed several games. By the end of the season, Robin scored five times in 23 Odivisi matches. Chelsea 
Robin did not make his competitive debut for Chelsea until November 2004, as he was injured in a pre-season friendly match against Roma, breaking a metatarsal bone in his right foot in a challenge from Olivier de Coute. During this time, he told club doctors that he had noticed an unfamiliar growth on one of his testicles. The medical team quickly did tests to check for testicular cancer, but he was subsequently given the all-clear. Robin proved to be a crucial player for the 2004 May season. In November 2004, he was awarded the FA Premier League Player of the Month award. Robin ended the 2004 May season with seven goals, his second highest professional total. He was shortlisted for the PFA Young Player of the Year, but was beaten by Wayne Rooney of Manchester United. Robin was badly injured in a league game away to Blackburn Rovers and forced to sit out Chelsea's title run in and progress to the semi finals of the UEFA Champions League. Back to fitness for 2005 06, Robin was an integral part of the Chelsea left wing. In 28 matches, Robin contributed six goals as Chelsea won a second consecutive Premier League Championship, the first back to back titles for the West London club. The 2005 June season saw Robin involved in an unsporting incident with Liverpool goalkeeper Pepe Reina. Towards the end of a league game between Chelsea and Liverpool at Stamford Bridge, which Chelsea won 2-0, Reina shoved his hand in Robin's face after some provocative words from Robin. Robin fell theatrically to the turf, and Reina received a red card for violent behaviour, as violent conduct is illegal. As a result of the incident Rayner commented that Robin did well enough to win an Oscar for his theatrics. Liverpool manager Rafael Benitez later joked in a post-match interview that he would soon be going to hospital to check on Robin's condition. Rayner's red card was not rescinded. Robin was later named man of the match on December 23, 2006 against Wigan, a match where he got two assists and the winning goal. Robin was inflicted with yet another injury in a match against Liverpool on January 20, 2007. Robin made his return in a 3-0 victory against Middlesbrough in February driving in a shot that took a deflection past Mark Schwarzer for a known goal by Abel Xavier. He came on as a substitute for Claude McKellie in the 2007 League Cup final against Arsenal and set up the winning goal for Didier Drogba. Robin scored a goal in the second round of the UEFA Champions League against Porto, which led to Chelsea winning the tie 3-2 on aggregate. At the end of March 2007, Robin underwent a knee operation after sustaining a knee injury upon returning from international duty that was expected to rule him out for at least four weeks. He only made two further appearances for Chelsea, both of which were as a substitute and both of which would prove to be key games for the club. His first appearance since returning from injury was against Liverpool in the UEFA Champions League semi-final second leg which went to penalties. Robin went on to have his penalty saved by Pepe Reina, and Chelsea ultimately lost. His final appearance for the club came against Manchester United in the 2007 FA Cup final. Robin replaced Joe Cole at half-time but was then subsequently substituted himself for Ashley Cole in extra time as Chelsea emerged victorious. Spanish club Real Madrid were interested in two of Chelsea's players. Then manager Ben Schuster is said to have demanded Michael Balak, while Madrid's former president, Ramon Calderon, was known to favor Robin. Robin said to reporters of Spanish newspaper AS, I do not know when a deal will be reached. I would like to send a message to the Madrid fans, but I can't until my future is sorted. Real Madrid eventually secured Robin's services in August 2007. He told Chelsea's official club website, It was difficult to leave because I had a great time in my three years at Chelsea and I made a lot of friends. There was no time to say goodbye because the deal was closed on the Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the evening and the following morning I had to fly. If I have one day off I would want to come back and say goodbye because to the fans I owe a big thank you because they were always good to me. In my three years I won all the prizes there are to win in England. Real Madrid Robin completed his move to Real Madrid on a five-year deal on August 22, 2007, with the transfer fee reported as PS 24 million, EU 35 million. 
he made his debut on September 18 as a substitute for Raul during a Champions League match against Werder Bremen, which Real Madrid won 2-1. His league debut came on September 23, this time as a substitute for Royston during a 1-1 away draw against Valladolid. On February 10, 2008, Robin scored his first goal, this time at home in a 7-0 victory against Valladolid. Robin proved crucial for many Real Madrid matches, making his famous runs down the left wing, and quickly became a first choice for the left midfield position, making 28 appearances during his debut season and scoring five goals. Real Madrid won the league title with some games to spare, and were already the champions of Spain when they played their arch-rivals FC Barcelona on May 7, 2008. The Barcelona players formed a guard of honor as the Madrid team came onto the pitch at the Santiago Bernabéu, and Robin played an important part in Real Madrid's subsequent 4-1 victory, scoring the champion's second goal. He retained his key role in the Real Madrid midfield during the 2008 September season, playing 35 times and scoring eight goals. Although the Dutchman was one of the Spanish side's most important players in the pre-season games leading up to the 2009 October season, having scored three goals and helped set up another four, he was among the players whose place in the first team became threatened following the arrival of Florentino Perez and the signings of Cristiano Ronaldo and Kaka. Real Madrid accepted a bid of around EU 25 million for Robin from Bayern Munich. Robin claimed he was forced to leave Real Madrid saying that he didn't want to go, but the club wanted to sell him. Bayern Munich 2009-10 On August 28, 2009, Robin moved to Bayern Munich for around EU 25 million. He was given the number 10 shirt, last worn by his fellow Dutchman, Roy McCarr. His debut came the day after. He came on as a half-time substitute against Wolfsburg, scored two goals, and helped his team beat last season's champions in Bayern's first win of the 2009 October season. On March 9, 2010, Robin scored the deciding goal in Bayern's 2-3 defeat, 4-4 on aggregate over two legs, against Fiorentina, taking them through to the quarter-finals of the 2009-10 UEFA Champions League on away goals. On April 7, 2010, Robin sent Bayern Munich into the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League with a stunning volley against Manchester United from the edge of the area into the corner of the net. The game ended 3-2 to United, 4-4 on aggregate, with Bayern advancing again due to away goals. On April 17, 2010, he scored his first hat-trick in the Bundesliga against Hanover 96 in the Allianz Arena. The game ended 7-0 to the Bavarians. On May 8, 2010, he won his first Bundesliga title with Bayern Munich after scoring two goals in their 3-1 victory over Hertha BSC, finishing as Bayern's top scorer in the process. A week later, Bayern played in the DFB Pokal final against the previous champions of the tournament, Werder Bremen, in Berlin's Olympia Stadion. Bayern won the game by 4-0. Robin scored the first of those four goals from a penalty kick. Robin thus helped the Bavarians achieve their 15th DFB Pokal title. On May 25, 2010, Robin was named Footballer of the Year in Germany for the year 2010. He won the election by attaining a record 72.1% of the vote and was the first Dutch person to win this election. 2010-11 the 2010 November season started badly for Robin, after medical tests confirmed that his hamstring had not properly healed and that he would be out for two months. Bayern chairman Karl Heinz Rummenig stated that, of course, Bayern Munich are very angry with the Dutch FA and would be seeking compensation from them, continuing once again, we must pay the bill as a club after a player is seriously injured playing for a national team. On January 15, 2011, he returned to first-team action, coming on as a substitute in the 1-1 away draw with VfL Wolfsburg. Robin was nominated for the UEFA Champions League Best Midfielder, but this went to his international compatriot Wesley Snyder. He has also been nominated for the prestigious Ballon d'Or Award, and the FIFA Puskas Award, which goes to the best goal of the year, 
and he has also been nominated for FIFA's FIFA Pro World 11 2010 squad, thanks to his fantastic season with Bayern Munich. 2011-12 in the second leg of the semi-finals of the 2011-12 UEFA Champions League, against his former club Real Madrid which was now managed by Jose Mourinho, who had been his manager at Chelsea, after Bayern initially fell behind 2-0, Robin converted a penalty to level the tie at 3-3. Bayern advanced to the final after winning the resulting penalty shootout. On May 3, 2012 it was reported that Robin has signed a new contract with Bayern which will last till 2015. Robin had an extra time penalty saved by former teammate Peter Sage in the 2012 UEFA Champions League final at the Allianz Arena against Chelsea. Had the penalty gone in, Bayern Munich would have led Chelsea 2-1. However the match ended in a penalty shootout which Chelsea won. That was the fourth major cup final that he had been on the losing side during the last two years, World Cup final, two Champions League finals and the DFB Pokal. Three days later in the same stadium while playing as a second-half substitute for the Netherlands in a friendly against Bayern Munich, he was jeered by some disgruntled Bayern Munich fans every time he touched the ball, due to his penalty miss in the Champions League final and as he did not play on Bayern's side during that match due to a decision taken by Netherlands coach Bert van Marwich. The match had been organized to compensate Bayern, since Robin aggravated an injury playing for the Netherlands at the 2010 World Cup, and went on to miss several months of the 2010 November season. 2012-13 in the 2012-13 season, Robin had started the season on the bench, as manager Jop Hanks preferred to start Thomas Muller on the right wing, with Tony Cruz at the attacking midfielder position. Robin had played through the season as a substitute, but earned his chance to start again after Cruz was injured during the Champions League tie against Juventus. He started on the right wing for the rest of the season, having moved Muller back to the middle. Robin started against Borussia Dortmund in the quarterfinals of the DFB Pokal and scored the game's lone goal in the 43rd minute. In the Champions League semi final against FC Barcelona, Robin started both games and scored in both games, including the go ahead goal in the second leg. Bayern would then go on to return to the final. Robin atoned for his penalty miss the previous season by setting up teammate Mario Mandzukic's goal to open the scoring in the 60th minute then netting an 89th minute winner in a 2-1 victory over Borussia Dortmund to give Bayern their fifth European Cup. During the presentation he was named man of the match by UEFA. 2013-14 Robin scored his first goals of the 2013-14 season in the 2013 DFL Super Cup, where Bayern were beaten 4-2 by Borussia Dortmund. On August 9, 2013, his opening goal helped Bayern to a 3-1 win over Borussia Mönchengladbach in their first match of the Bundesliga campaign. On September 17, he scored in Bayern's Champions League opener against CSKA MOSKVA at the Allianz Arena. He went on to score two further goals during the Champions League group stage. In away wins against Manchester City and CSKA as Bayern finished as group winners. On November 23, Robin was one of three scorers as Bayern beat title rivals Borussia Dortmund 3-0 at the Westfalen Stadion. On December 4, Robin was substituted with a deep cut on his right knee in a 2-0 DFB Pokal win away to FC Augsburg which prevented him from taking part in the 2013 FIFA Club World Cup. On March 1, 2014, Robin scored a hat-trick in Bayern's 5-1 win over FC Schalke 4. On March 19, 2014, Robin signed a contract extension with Bayern, which will keep him at the club until 2017. On April 9, 2014, Robin scored a critical third goal against Manchester United, to secure the Champions League semi-final spot for Bayern. Style of play Robin has tremendous speed on the ball which gives him the edge as a winger. He is famous for sprinting down the wing and then cutting in on his left foot past defenders. Then when he has space he fires a low, powerful, accurate shot in the corner. 
the majority of his goals follow this pattern. Despite being renowned for the maneuver he also has ability in the air and can deliver a spectacular volley. One of his more underrated playing techniques is his playmaking ability. At Bayern Munich, he often converges from his comfortable right-wing position to a central attacking midfielder role. In this role he sets up attacking plays and assists the forwards. He often, in a match, will drift even further to the left wing to confuse the defence and at the same time provide support to his wing colleague, Frank Ribery, and also to supply fellow attackers with accurate crosses. Another factor in his playing style is his relationship with the right fullback. At Bayern, this partnership with Philipp Lahm has had huge benefits for the team's efficiency and chemistry. Robin and Lahm exchange short, staccato-like passes in order to break down defence. If Robin does not execute his typical long-range shot, he often sets Lahm up with space to cross. Robin often covers for his partner when he pushes forward and becomes a temporary right back. For years his career was defined as much by his losses as his success. Missing two extraordinary chances in the World Cup final against Spain, and losing the match in 2010 and missing a penalty for a home crowd in Munich in the Champions League final in 2012. His vindication came in the Champions League final 2013, when he scored the winning goal against Borussia Dortmund in the final minute of the game. International career Euro 2004 Robin has played in 70 games for the Netherlands, scoring 19 goals. The first international experience of Robin's career came in Euro 2004 when manager Dick Advocaat called up younger players, such as Wesley Sneder and John Heyerdinger. During Euro 2004, Advocaat substituted Robin in the 66th minute to defend a 2-1 lead over the Czech Republic. However, the Czech team then scored two goals and won 3-2, which led to criticism about Advocaat's decision. In the same tournament, it was Robin, who scored the deciding penalty in the shootout between the Netherlands and Sweden, which ensured that at the fifth attempt, the Dutch finally won a penalty shootout. 2006 World Cup Robin played in his first 2006 World Cup qualifier in 2006. In six games for the Netherlands, Robin scored two goals. The Netherlands qualified for the World Cup in 2006 and in the Netherlands opening match against Serbia and Montenegro, Robin scored the winning goal in the 18th minute, and was named the man of the match. In the match against Kotva, Robin received this award the second time, thus becoming one of the eight players in the tournament to have won the man of the match award more than once. Euro 2008 During the Euro 2008, Manager Marco van Basen changed the formation to 4-2-3-1, preferring the midfield trio of Raphael van der Vaart, Wesley Sneder and Dirk Koot. Robin was left to battle it out with Robin van Persie for a place on the wing. In the group match against France, which the Netherlands won 4-1, Robin was brought on at half-time. He dragged the ball out of reach of a defender near the halfway line and paced his way ahead of three defenders, then crossed straight to Van Persie who powered a shot into the goal past Gregory Coupet, who did well enough to get a hand onto it. At 2-0, Thierry Henry scored a goal, making it 2-1, and almost directly after the restart, Robin was played through by Sneder and he ran at the France goal and was forced into an acute angle, but despite the angle, he shot the ball into the net past Coupet. 2010 World Cup Robin was selected by the Netherlands manager Bert van Marwijk for the final squad of 23 for the World Cup. In the last friendly match against Hungary, just before the flight to South Africa on June 4, Robin fell awkwardly towards the end of the match, and picked up a hamstring injury which caused concern over his fitness for the World Cup. On June 5, van Marwijk announced that he'd decided not to summon any substitute for Arjun. I want to give him every chance to still participate in the World Cup. On June 12, 2010, Arden arrived in South Africa to join the team. He was an unused substitute for the opening game against Denmark as they coasted to a 2-0 victory, and again in the 1-0 victory against Japan. 
he came on in the 73rd minute against Cameroon in their 2-1 victory, hitting the post from which Klaus Jan Huntelaar scored from the rebound. On June 28, 2010, he started his first match against Slovakia in which he went on to score the first goal in the second round as the Netherlands won 2-1. He also went on to pick up the Man of the Match award. Robin scored the third goal with a well-placed header in the semi-finals against Uruguay which the Netherlands won 3-2 to reach the final. Robin played for the full match in the final as the Netherlands lost 1-0 to Spain. Robin was also nominated for the 2010 World Cup Golden Ball, the tournament's best player, which was won by Diego Forlan. Euro 2012 Robin was selected to play for the Netherlands at Euro 2012. He started in the first group stage match, a 1-0 loss to Denmark, in which he hit the post with a good curled effort. In the next match, a 2-1 loss to Germany, he hopped over the advertising boards and walked the long way round after being subbed off for Dirk Koot because he thought he could have inspired the Netherlands to a win. So after two group stage losses, they needed a win by two goals over Portugal and needed Germany to beat Denmark to have a chance of qualifying. Unfortunately, they lost 2-1 and were knocked out of the tournament. Personal life Robin married his girlfriend Benadia Nielet on June 9, 2007 in Groningen. The two met while in high school in the city, at the Kamerling Uns, and have two sons. Luca born in 2008 and Kai born 2012 and a daughter, Lynn born in 2010. Robin's father, Hans, acts as his agent. The circumstances of Arjun and Bernadian's first meeting have been reported by his former youth coach, Baron Beldman. Arjun was driven and determined at a young age. He was always on time, never late. But one Friday afternoon he showed up 15 minutes past the start of practice. I asked him what was going on. We were at the market square, having fun, he said. There were some girls with him and his friends, so I asked, was she worth it? Yes, trainer, she was, he told me. I told him to get his gear and join the training session. At his wedding, I heard the woman he met that day was now his wife and mother of his children. Bernadian is her name. Robin speaks fluent Dutch, German. English and Spanish. Career Statistics International International Statistics International Goals Honors Club Odivacy, 2002-03, Joan Cruid Shield, 2003, Premier League 2004-05, 2005-06, FA Cup, 2006-07, League Cup, 2004-05, 2006-07, FA Community Shield, 2005, La Liga, 2007-08, Supercopa de Hispana, 2008, Bundesliga, 2009-10, 2012-13, 2013-14, DFB Pokal, 2009-10, 2012-13, DFB Super Cup, 2010-2012, UEFA Champions League, 2012-13, UEFA Super Cup, 2013. Netherlands. FIFA World Cup runner-up, 2010. Individual. Netherlands Young Player of the Year. 2003, Premier League Player of the Month, November 2004, PFA Team of the Year, 2005, Premier League Goal of the Month, December 2005, Bravo Award, 2005, Goal of the Month in Germany, January 2010, March 2010, April 2010, The Kicker Player of the Year, 2010, Footballer of the Year, Germany, 2010, UEFA Team of the Year, 2011. ESM Team of the Year, 2004 May, 2009-10, Man of the Match, 2013 UEFA Champions League.